Peter Fisher and welcome to another MySQL console tutorial. Today we're going to look at the MySQL function concat. Now what concat does is it concatenates a series of values into a single string. Okay, so let's um, we're in the MySQL console now and we'll just uh, take a look at what that function does. So let's run so to run it in a query you would run select and then you would type concat which is the function's name open up the, the, uh, the parentheses and then in, in here you would have an arbitrary um, set of values which are uh, split or separated by a comma so these can be strings these can be integers and so forth so let's say we've got apples um, let's say we've got oranges and let's say we've got a number which is one okay so let's execute that and we can see that we've got oranges apples and the number one uh, we can also see that the 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 name of this column is the name is, is the function and its contents so that's all well and good but let's see if we can put in a space between the apples oranges and, and the number one so to do that there is a number of ways to do this um, uh, one of which is another function that I will mention in another um, uh, another uh, webcast but uh, for now I'll just keep to this single function so basically what you do is you, you concatenate a string with a blank space between each one of these so apples and then space and then oranges and then space okay making sure that you've got the commas in the right place and the quotes in the right place as well okay so let's uh, hit enter and we can see that we've got a space between apples and oranges right okay so that's all well and good but how do we uh, use this within a query so let's uh, clear that bring up another line I'm gonna just describe the customer table to see its structure and then I'm gonna do a, a quick select all from uh, customer to see its contents okay so we've got what can we use here we've got the title the first name and the last name right okay so the uh, the aim for this um, example will be to create a single column and we're going to call it name um, and it's going to be a single string that is a concatenation of uh, the title the first name and the last name okay so let's bring up a new line bring that up for reference so we would do select and then we would run concat and we would have title because that's the uh, the customer's title and then we would have comma and then we would have first underscore name and then we would have last underscore name close the parentheses and then do from we continue the query as usual from customer okay and that looks good to me so we press enter to execute the query so we've got uh, okay so we've got the return values here mr. Peter and Fisher and, and so forth so what we would like to do is have a space between each one of these values so again we would uh, add in a blank space between each one of these values and because it's a, a string it would be in a quote so run that again and yes we can see that we've added in the space now the next thing we want to do is change the name of of that of that column we want to change the name to be name okay so let's bring a blank space bring that up for reference and then we would do that by simply aliasing which is something that I mentioned in a previous video um, the return of that concat function so we do as and then we change well we add the alias of name so there we go we've changed um, we've changed the, uh, the, the the returned name of that column to be name because that's the alias of the return of the concat function okay so that's basically how you use the concat uh, function there's other ways 
of ma manipulating the uh, separator as I've mentioned beforehand but we'll go into that in more detail in another video. If you've got any comments, questions or queries then do put them in the comments below. I try and post a video up every week so um, please subscribe and like to get the next one. Um, thanks again for watching um, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers, bye.